Hey guys, my name's Eric Mooney. You guys are watching Mooney Vlogs. I just want to let you know to please subscribe to the channel and like this video. I'm actually going to throw you guys to, back to a vlog that I believe I did on Wednesday. Um, and it's going to be building my arrows. So I just wanted to welcome you to my channel and uh, please hit that like button and subscribe. Uh, I just want to let you guys know that I'm going to be posting every Wednesday, uh, probably around 7 or 8 o'clock. So make sure you uh, tune in there. And then also, if you do decide to just subscribe to this channel, please hit the bell icon and you guys will get notifications whenever I post. So thank you guys so much for watching the video and I hope you guys enjoy it. Hey guys, how's it going? If you don't know who I am, my name's Eric Mooney and today we're going to be mowing our lawn a little bit and probably shooting our bow a little bit. And other than that, we'll see where the day takes us. So I hope you guys enjoy this first little segment. It's just going to be a time lapse of me mowing the lawn. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Okay guys, so it's the next day, and last night, we got a package. Now I know it's in the package, but you guys don't, so let's go ahead and open this. Alright, grab that knife in here. So, just to show you guys what I shoot, I shoot the Gold Tip Hunter XT 
Dang it. Gold Tip Hunter XT and the 400 Spine. Um, this is just six of them. I usually get them without the arrows, or the veins, the bear shaft ones. But for some reason, they're only selling uh, the six packs with veins. So I'll just have to strip those off, but that's not too big of a deal. So um, I guess we'll do that first. All right, guys, let's go ahead and open up this package. Nothing else in here. Nope. So. Insert. Don't need no instructions. All right, so first, I'm gonna explain to you why I'm taking these veins off. So, these veins aren't bad. I shot these the first year I ever bow hunted. But here's the thing. These arrows, or these veins, are just straight. I shoot a helical arrow. If you don't know what that is, it's like this. So, the point, or the back end of the vein starts here, ends up over here. That just means when it's flying, just see pushes more wind, spins faster, stabilizes more. So, I'm gonna put helical veins on these. So, I had a, a vein stripper, but I don't know where that went, so now I just use this. So, number one, these are 400s, right? Yep. Just cut away with your knife. Uh, throw them in there. Try not to cut the actual carbon, but to cut the vein. Sometimes you can start it there and just rip. Okay, so we'll crank out these arrows real quick. All right, so luckily there's still some leftover residue, but I shoot a 29 inch draw length and my arrows, if I cut them right here, would be 29 and I get rid of this stuff. So that's all I have to do now. Let's go ahead and set this here at 29. And see, all I gotta do is take my insert. And boom, as you can see when we cut, we're gonna be right there. So I'm just gonna weigh the arrow shafts, 241.2, Whoa, 245. It's quite a bit heavier. Let's see if there's something wrong with this one. No, just abnormally heavy. Two forty two point eight, two forty, forty one two. 
All right, so we got that measured out. Now we'll measure out these knocks. Or insert, sorry. 12, six. Take two of these. I already know these are going to weigh more than those. 24, 8. for that so now we know the lighter arrows are going to use the heavier stuff so take this arrow for instance that is going to have this knock and this insert we're just not going to push them in all the way just enough to get them started Dang, I keep pushing over all my stuff all my stuff here. Okay. Obviously this part isn't essential, but it's just gonna help every arrow be a little more consistent. Consistency is key. Luckily, um, we were pretty lucky, and the four main arrows, or not necessarily four main, but these four arrows are going to be the first ones up in the lineup because, number one, they're more, more consistent. Like this arrow, if you guys remember, was way heavier than especially this one or even these ones and even this one. So we know that this arrow is probably going to be one of the last arrows in my quiver to ever be shot. All right, guys, so we're just gonna take these arrow wraps. Take an arrow. If you guys push down on the stickers like I'm doing, make sure you come north to south and not east to west or else it's going to, uh, like that. You don't want to go like that because it's going to ripple over and you're going to get little, uh, little waves in your sticker if they're not on all the way tight. That sticker went on really good, really good so I probably could have went that way, but better be safe than sorry. Arrows look cool. Most of the time, people put some rubbing alcohol wipe or take some rubbing alcohol wipes and rub the arrows down. I probably wouldn't hurt. Let's just clean off the arrow.
Okay guys, so now you want to do this one at a time, but you take your knockout. This is the boning um, tower jig, I believe it's called. So you just set that in there like that. Put a vein in. Um, if you guys buy this arrow or this fletching jig, they usually come with uh, where'd it go? This package of uh, towers, but that would get you a, put on a vein like we started with. These purples will give you a left helical, which is what I shoot. And actually, you can take your arrow out for now. It'll be easier to glue. You'll make sure those are sitting on the bottom. And make sure you watch them and be sure that they don't ride to the top when you put your glue on like this. All you need is a thin line. like that. That one tried to run up on me. Okay. That on like that. Slide this clamp on. Push down. And then you just give it about a minute or so. And then you do the rest of those. So I'll see you guys when I get done with all these arrows. All right, guys, yesterday we got the lawn mode. We just got the arrows built. Don't mind my dad. He just wants to be on the video. Okay, anyway, so now we're just gonna shoot this bow real quick and that'll be it for the vlog today, so. So I hope you guys enjoy this. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm walking up to Target. But if you guys are archers out there, you know that archers have to have excuses, right? So. This is what I'm gonna do. Right here, this arrow, it's nowhere close to the bullseye. I'll show you this. Boom, two veins. I shot up two veins. I'll give you a real quick look. Nope, you guys can't see no veins on the ground, so obviously you know that it didn't fall off while flying. So that's my excuse why that one went off. But, the other three, 40 yard group, that's pretty good, just a little to the uh, left. That's probably me, but 40 yard group, not too bad, except for that one arrow, but you know, gotta have excuses. You are not a good archer if you don't have excuses. So, all right, four shots. Also right there, if you're an archer, you know what that is on your shooting hand. I don't know if that's just something I'm doing with my form or what, but I don't know. The last three or four days have just been hitting it all the time. Uh, obviously I'm just extending that form a little too far, so I need to collapse it down a little bit, but I don't know. Whatever. All right guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure you tune in to next week's video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching.